Right, MFJ1788, here we go with the third video. I've already done a couple of videos on this. Um, the first video I tried taking it out portable and it worked, but it wasn't overly successful. There were a couple of issues. Uh, I had a dodgy feeder cable and um, the location I was operating from wasn't the best for HF, to be honest. So uh, I felt I didn't really give the antenna a fair chance. So I had another go. I set it up on my... Uh, mast outside and uh, did a bit of whisper testing with it so last video I had it mounted horizontally this video I've got it mounted vertically and we're going to do some more whisper tests and see what we get now this is off the back of a comment which was posted on one of the videos by uh, someone with the username dx398 he asks uh, does the loop work better horizontal or vertical so let's see if we can answer that um, so the last video I mounted it on the mast at 12 meters high because MFJ in their manual say if you're going to mount it above 20 foot which is roughly about 6 meters then you're better off mounting it horizontally so I got it right up to 12 meters um, this time I mounted it vertically so MFJ say you're better off having the antenna below 20 foot if you're mounting the antenna vertically so um, 20 foot is about the lowest that mast will go so I've mounted it 20 foot off the ground on the rotator so we're perhaps not the fairest test we're on that um, crossover point where you're you know where you're better off horizontal versus vertical so we're on that weird crossover point but let's give it a go anyway now let's remind ourselves um, and I'll put these up on the screen so you can see them um, I'm looking on my computer screen. So let's remind ourselves what MFJ say the radiation pattern should be. So this is the um, radiation pattern you get from the antenna. Now this is mounted uh, horizontally. If you imagine this turned on its side, rotated through 90 degrees and mounted vertically, you'll get more or less the same sort of pattern. So you've got a null of about 15 degrees either side of the loop. So it's actually a fairly narrow null. So it's not going to be all that directional. But if we look at this other um, pattern taken from the manual, you can see roughly what we're going to expect. So you should have the null through the center of the loop and you're going to get a bit of ground wave reflection. You're going to get a bit of horizontal polarization, a bit of vertical coming off. So it should, do reasonably well on um, NVIS, although you'd expect it to be a little bit directional. So let's now look at the um, whisper patterns from the whisper testing. So this diagram, this is on 20 meters. This diagram was taken uh, with the um, antenna horizontally. And I'll be fair, these aren't the most um, scientific tests these they were done several days apart and you'll see um, as I go through the diagrams the gray line moves a little bit so they weren't all done at the same time of day so I know it's not the fairest test but uh, it'll give us a rough idea so here we go 20 meters you can see um, I'm getting a reasonably nice um, omnidirectional pattern there um, this is horizontally uh, but if I go onto this diagram, so this is with the antenna set east to west. Um, roughly speaking, yes, okay, a couple of uh, stations in the States here and most out to my east in Europe. There's a couple of anomalies out here which I perhaps wouldn't expect to get in that null. But if I move on to the next diagram, this is with the antenna now pointing north-south so all the, all the contacts I'm getting should be to the north and south and we realize that oh dear yeah it's still heading out a lot to the um, east in Europe and to the west here in the states so directional I'm not so sure let's uh, go on to this is on 30 meters um, this was with it horizontally from my last video. You've already seen this diagram. Again, quite a nice omnidirectional pattern. Quite a few 
out here in the States and a couple in Canada, all around Europe and even one down here in Johannesburg. Um, now if I go on to the diagram from this test, this is east-west. Again, okay, maybe the bulk of the contacts out here, sort of Germany, uh, Poland, out to Moscow. You've got a couple of anomalies here towards Scotland and uh, down here past uh, going straight over the top of Spain here. So uh, I'm starting to question its directivity, to be honest. Then if we move on, well, I've spun the antenna through 90 degrees, again, still on 30 metres. And we're still getting more or less the same pattern. A couple more in the United Kingdom here, to, to north towards Scotland. But still getting all the same stations uh, out here towards Germany. And yes, I know the grey line is in a different place, different time of day. So not the fairest test. Let's go on to 40 metres now. And again exactly the same thing so the bulk of the stations with the antenna pointing east west bulk of the stations um, in germany uh, a couple out here towards uh, budapest hungary uh, poland off in what should be the null here up to sweden and down to uh, barcelona and other parts of spain um, and then if we go on to the next one, I've spun the antenna through 90 degrees. Uh, so it's now pointing north-south. And again, we're still getting Germany, Sweden. Um, so, yeah, make of that what you will. It's I don't think it's that directional. So that's what my experience, experience shows. If you've got anything different let me know in the comments below um, but I stand by what I said before if you need to get this antenna up high really if for me I said before I'll be keeping this antenna for uh, data and I'll be mounting it on the mast I'll be changing it back so it's horizontally so if you're asking me which way I think it works best I would go horizontally as high as you possibly can so uh, there you go, I hope that's useful. Um, like I say, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.